Hello, YouTubers. This is Sasfire JS from The Spot Production. Uh huh. And yes, I am hoarse. Because I got a little cold going on. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to hook up a calm drum to your mixer channel. Not your mixer channel, but your mixer 14.2. Here we go. We're going to right click. Go to Utilities, bring out the Combinator in this little area here, right click, go to Utilities, and bring out your mixer, 14.2. Then in this little empty spot right below the mixer, click on Instruments, and we're going to bring out the comm. Now if you notice, it's on Initiate Patch we're going to need to find a drop kit so we're going to use the deep house drop kit and as you can tell if you look so, look on the mixer every pad that I click on is in one what we want is all 14 pads to be hooked up to each section of its own. Right? Yes, we do. Okay. So how are we going to do that? It's very, very simple. Here we go. Go to your keyboard. Click tab. Turn it around. You're going to see a lot of wires. But we want to focus on audio output. Now, click on one, three, put it on 3 and then 5, put it on 5 and so forth just go all the way down 9, put all the odd numbers in 9 you're just going to use odd numbers only 11 13 when you're done all the wires that's on the bottom you want to bring it up to the even numbers just bring them all up to the even numbers because the whole top should be full with wires. Everybody got their own wire. Now, that's step one. Step two, let's turn it around. Click on your keyboard tab button. Now, if you click, now it's on two spots. Why? Because we only did step one. And there's three steps to this. Okay, now we're going to go to step two. Go there to where it says show drum. And if you look on the bottom, you'll see FX, Master FX. Well, 1 and 2 should be on Master FX, but 3 shouldn't be. So we want to go down, and you see 3 output, 3 and 4 output. You do output, you put 3, and then you put it on output again for 4, and so forth. You know, 5 for 5 and 6 output. And six for five and six output. And seven for seven and eight output. And eight for eight. Seven, eight output. And just keep going down until you are done. Now, I do want to give you a little tip. If you have a specific drum kit that you like, I would suggest that you make a template. So that way you don't have to keep doing this over and over again. So that way you just got to bring up your little template and it's done. Of course, I have one of those. I have different types of drum template for different sounds. So some of them have the mixer, some don't. But you know, I go into deeper on templates because I have a whole file with templates. Because, you know, it's just faster and better for me with templates. Because if you have your mind set on hip-hop, you can go into all the templates that have hip-hop on it. That's designed with the instruments that you need for hip-hop or drums, you know. So that's why I set it up that way. Now, we are done with step two. As you can tell... We are done. But 
If you notice, 3 and 4 keeps clicking at the same time. 5 and 6 keeps coming up at the same time. So forth. So, what we're about to do now is step 3. We're going to separate it. How do you do that? If you look in this section over here, you'll see pan. See that pan? Now, click on one. Every odd number, you go to the left. And every e even number, you pan to the right. Odd, pan to the right. Left, even, pan to the right. And you keep going there until you're done. And now you see why you want to add templates. Because you're not going to want to have to keep doing this all the time. <laughs> and so, it's best to get your little template going on. Templates are so handy dandy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Put them templates up. As a matter of fact, I might do one. A tutorial on templates. Okay, now we are done. All three steps are done, and we are finished. See, everything is in its own little section. That's how you hook up the Mixer channel to your congrums. Okay? Now, I also want to let you know that sometimes you may have one pad that has two numbers in it. But all you got to do is click on that pad and go over here and click on that number to put it back to that number where it belongs. All right. Anyways, that's it on how to hook up a mixer 14.2 to the Kong. Simple and easy. Take care. Much love.